guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another plant video. Today's gonna be a lighthearted one with a little mix of seriousness because there are some companies out there that really wanna steal your money. And it makes me really sad because we know that here in the plant community, we try to be the best people that we can be. I feel we're kind of known for being nice, loving nature, trying to stay drama free, but there are some people out there that want to take advantage of that and I just really want to warn you guys to be careful when you're shopping online. Today I want to talk about the trustworthy plant sites that I order from and that I will continue to order from because they have provided me with good customer service, they've provided me with actual plants, and their prices are not ridiculously high. Um, these are the ones that I have purchased from personally, but there are a lot of plant shops out there that you can purchase from. I just never really have. I want to talk about some trustworthy sites today and some sites to stay away from and I'm going to touch on some drama that has been going on. So my number one favorite plant shop to buy from is 100% Gabriella's Plants, which I have been pronouncing incorrectly this entire time. <laughs> But it is Gabriella Plants. Their website is super easy to navigate. Their staff and com customer service are just like very wonderful. They seem to get back to people very quickly. They seem to have so much work on their hands and still are able to manage so much. And they just have really cool rare plants for pretty good prices and like set standard shipping. Their packaging is also good in comparison to other people. And yeah, that's my number one place to shop from. My number two place is Steve's Leaves. So Steve's Leaves, again, I have some weird feelings towards them, but I feel like they're a legitimate plant shop. They have really cool plants. Their shipping is pretty quick and they package things really nicely and they have pretty significantly sized plants for their prices. So that's another shop that I would de definitely recommend that you buy from. And then my third place to order plants online is Etsy, but Etsy definitely has some shops that are trying to scam you out of your money. So always look for reviews. If there are no reviews, don't buy from them. If there are bad reviews, don't buy from them. If they have something in their name that has like seedlings or something in it, don't buy from them. I, I I just, I feel like every time that I see like something seedling <laughs> in an Etsy shop, it's always a shop that has for some reason like closed their shop and reopened and then their like reviews clear. I don't know. I don't exactly know what the name of those shops are, but just avoid seed shops because seed shops will send you seeds and will not send you plants. <laughs> Definitely make sure to check where your plant is coming from on Etsy because there are some places from like Germany, um, Denmark, Poland, Thailand. Try and avoid buying from those places. You don't actually know if they are going to have a phytosanitary certification, so just try and avoid it. It will also probably die in the mail during this summer heat. But yes, just those are sort of my warnings to steer clear from on Etsy. I do have a video sharing my favorite Etsy shops, but those have kind of changed. I do have my like number one favorite Etsy shop, which is the Plant Chica. If you order from the Plant Chica, I'm pretty sure you will be happy. She's really sweet and she has some really beautiful and really nice sized plants. And then my fourth place that I would recommend buying plants from would be Josh's Frogs. So Josh's Frogs sells starter plants and even though they do not like specialize in selling plants, they do sell like terrarium plants for like different animals and stuff. They still have some really cool plants for some really good prices. They are starter plants. They are small. I just really need to warn you about that. But every time that I've ordered from Josh's Frogs, my plants have come in pretty great condition and it seems like their company is 100% legitimate. I bought my Monstera Salta Pecana from them and it was only, I think, like $20 in total and it came as a very full and beautiful plant. So 
definitely order from them if you are looking for smaller starter plants. So the next few shops that I'm going to talk about, I have not personally ordered from, but I have heard and read so many reviews about them. And I would really like to order from them one day, but these sites often don't have things in stock because they are so popular or they don't have things in stock because they are waiting to get stuff in stock so that way they can sell them to you. So the first one on that list would be Logies. So Logies was one of the plant shops that Jenna Marbles mentioned in her house plant tour video, which is I think why they got so popular, but they also sell a variegated Monstera, which has been like one of their most sought after plants. So that is definitely a legitimate place to buy that from. I would recommend buying from there just because of all of the reviews, but make sure to check the sizes of the plants that you're buying because some plants are like two inches and three inches and the pictures show like a six inch plant. So that is just, that bothers me, but just make sure that you are checking the size of the plant. And then another shop that I want to talk about is NSE Tropicals. So NSE Tropicals is known for their rare plants they really don't have plants in stock super often and you really have to just stock their websites because they don't really have a system set up to let you know when they restock on their plants but that is a very legitimate place to buy plants from they are really cool plants they are very greatly sized plants and they are pretty good prices for what they are typically and then another place that i want to talk about is rem botanicals so rem botanicals is an actual shop in i think portland Oregon and they just recently like moved into a new shop but they often have some plants listed on sale on their website and their plants look super pretty I mean they are coming from the nursery itself so I would say that they're definitely a legitimate source to buy plants from definitely follow them on Instagram because following them on Instagram will let you know when they do restock and then another plant that is kind of similar and in the same boat as REM Botanicals is Pistols Nursery. So Pistols Nursery is known for having sold the Raphidophora tetrasperma at one point for a really good price. They seem to have like the original sort of like fat leafed beautiful looking Raphidophoras. So I would definitely recommend to stock their website. They also have like cool pots and stuff. They have really cool plants and ex like a different accessories for you to buy as well instead of just plants. So that's definitely a shop to look out for and add to your list of plant shopping places. So yes, that is pretty much my list of online shops that you should check out. I feel like it's a pretty good list. I hope that I helped you guys, but I did want to talk about a couple of places that you shouldn't really buy from. I don't want to get in trouble with this video, so I don't want to just straight out tell you guys the names of the places but um there has been one company recently that has come out on instagram they were having sales on whale fins and they were having sales on ring of fires this is a very strange situation just because it seemed like they really took their time with this scam um I also want to mention that the reason why I learned about all of this is because of Plant Me Ashley on Instagram, which she also has a YouTube channel and I hope that she talks about this at some point, but um, she sort of made it known on Instagram that she knows a of a lot of people that order from this company and have not received their plant. They have just totally not received it. They got ghosted by the company and now this company's Instagram page is totally taken down. I'm really sorry if this has happened to you. I'm really sorry that there are people out there like this. So Peeps is a company that seemed to have like the same sort of strategy as Co. But Co like just decided to fall off the chart when they were confronted. But Peeps is still open. Peeps has given some people plants and hasn't given other people plants. So it's like really weird. So both of these places, you really just want to avoid them. Just like, yeah, <laughs> it's so upsetting. This whole thing is really, really like angering to me. I know that um, for Peeps, I believe just Myra did a unboxing of them and she was really upset with their customer service because they were not responding. And I know that my friend at Dream of Greens on Instagram also ordered from them. And I believe that she ordered a whale fin. 
and again her plant was really sad looking and it took forever to get to her and it was shipped to her after it was supposed to be shipped so those people at least got their plants but there are several people out there who have not gotten their plants and you don't really want to risk it the instagrammer who talked about it her name is planted sam um i believe that's her name but she, she's the one that pretty much like brought light to the situation and said like, hey, these people are scamming people. Um, you want to avoid them because they pretty much ignore your emails. They pretty much ignore you <laughs> if you get a dead plant. They pretty much ignore you if you just never received your plant. There are people that are waiting for Thai constellations that were supposed to have received them sometime in April and it's August now and they haven't received them yet. It's a really crappy situation and it makes me really, really, really angry that there are people that are like preying upon nice people who just want plants. Anyway, my anger aside, don't order from Peeps or Co. Um, I'm pretty sure for Co, you can't order from them anymore because they've disappeared. But for Peeps, you probably shouldn't order from them either. Um, just because of all of the bad reviews. I believe that both of them have very bad scores on Better Business Bureau, I believe, which is pretty much a site that determines whether or not a place is a scam. So if you guys know of other places that are scamming people, go ahead and let me know. Like I said, there are definitely some shops on Etsy that you don't wanna purchase from because they themselves can also be scams. Speaking of Etsy though, <laughs> if you guys were staring at my Monstera earrings, they are from Plant Dosage on Instagram. She has an Etsy shop, I believe it's also called Plant Dosage, and they're like really, really, really cute. She sent me them for free, and she's obviously like not paying me to talk about them, but like I don't wear earrings that often and these earrings just make me so happy. <laughs> I guess that was a good way to end the video because I was getting angry and these earrings made me happy. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. Again, if you guys have anything to talk about or any warnings that you want to give out to other people, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I am going to try and list more information in the description box for you guys, but if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below, and if you like me and like plant videos, go ahead and subscribe if you want to, but that is going to be it for today's video, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!